Bizarre Brain Comics. Hello, my comic book friends, and welcome to Bizarre Brain Comics. I am Gary, your host. Doesn't quite fit right. I'm going to do something a little different this time. A couple weeks ago, I had a couple of bookshelves uh, collapse, but the stuff didn't fall off the shelf. Um, they just were sitting there on top of the stuff under the shelf underneath it. So I'm finally getting around to uh, to uh, f taking the stuff off the shelf so I can repair, uh, fix the shelf. And I thought, oh hell, while I'm doing this, doing that, I could I could do a, a little video and just show some of the stuff that's on that shelf. Now this this isn't just a not even half of the stuff that's on that first shelf uh, that I'm working on here. And I have books, magazines, comics, and stuff. But I thought I'd just sh show you some of the stuff that I've got there on that shelf. <laughs> and why it was so heavy. And I'll just start here with the, this first one here. The Lords of Mars, which I still haven't, haven't uh, finished reading from Dynamite Comics. And this is, oh, this beautiful painted cover. It looks like Alex Ross, but Alex Ross, but I don't think it is. Um, could it be Joe Jusco? It looks more like Joe Jusco, uh, but I'm not sure. Anyway, this is Tarzan on Mars with John Carter of Mars. That's cool. I, I haven't read it yet, so I'm gonna have to read that. And, and here is an issue. Just one issue of. Uh, uh, what is it? The uh, the Jack Kirby Collector. I have a, f a few issues of this. I don't know what year this is from. But the the drawing was inked by Mike Mignola. This is a Kirby drawing uh, inked by Mike Mignola in 98. And then after that, woo, they have... This is a European graphic novel. It was a series. It's the only one I've gotten. It is in English uh, by Fantasy Flight. It's uh, Persevan, The Three Stars of Angar. It's a uh, European um, fantasy, sword and sorcery fantasy. But it it's, is, has, has humor and is drawn in the... Uh, in a cartoonish style, in that European uh, vein, you know, like like uh, Tin Tin and Asterix. I also had some issues of Asterix on there too. I had... Then we get here to the new American Splendor anthology. This is from, uh, uh, and this is a big one with the uh, Drew Friedman uh, cover. Is all star stories by Harvey Picar. This is from 1991, but it, it, this is from the American American Splendor. A variety of artists, and I don't think this one has Crumb in it at all. But he's got a, an, another anthology like this. It's all Crumb art, a variety of. Uh, but Harvey Picar from American Splendor, and I loved Harvey. And then there is our Crumb's Head Comics. I don't know what, what year this was from, but with an eight ninety five cover price, it would have, has to be about thirty years ago. I've had it for a long time. Just love the. It's got Fritz the Cat, the the old Pooparoo, and the city. Twenty years later, a uh, new introduction. Uh oh. <laughs> oh yeah, Jade Comics. And then here we have Volume One of the Dailies of Flash Gordon, 1940-42, by Austin Briggs. I've done I've done Flash Gordon before, so I'm here you can get a good a good example of some of his. Not quite as good as Alex Raymond, but it's pretty damn good artwork. Oh yeah, Flash Gordon. Okay, and then here we have Dungeons and Dragons Classics. This is Volume Three. This is from uh, when DC had the license for the Dungeons and Dragons stuff, and so and it's in a bag, so I'm not gonna. 
take it out. But uh, yeah, uh, Dersima did that that cover. I I really enjoyed uh, the Dungeons and Dragons titles when uh, DC had, had them. And then here's Dungeons and Dragons Classics. So that's uh, Michigan Dersima Mandrake. This is Volume Four. Volume Four. Uh, well, of uh, those those books. And these were published by IDW, but it's uh, uh, featuring this, this stuff from when, in, when DC had the license. And speaking of DC, here we have Pulp Fiction Library from DC Comics. Mystery in Space, reprinting a, a bunch of the classic uh, 50s and 60s science fiction, early 60s, uh, science fiction stuff from Mystery in Space. Had some some uh, had some wonderful stories and, and artwork all uh, very very naive stuff. I, I love the artwork on this. This is what I think it's McCoy. I think is his name um, is the artist, and it has a it has a very retro feel to it. Even including the the alien, it's just like the uh, the alien commander of the UFO f uh, from the uh, the Simpsons. TV show, and that's that's funny. And then here we have oh, one of my favorites, Archie Horror presents the Chilling Adventures in Sorcery. <coughs> yeah, Chilling Adventures in Sorcery from Archie Comics, and this is really really cool, really cool stuff. You, which of course now you uh, you. In the old days, you'd never have seen this stuff from from Archie Comics. Oh, oh that's a, some black and white stuff. This is, uh, but this is not the uh, not the uh, um, oh, Sabrina. So well, it does have Sabrina because the first parts are is have the the more chilling adventures and sorcery as told by Sabrina for those first uh, couple of issues. And it's all black and white, so it's a Costs on on the price and had the Archie st art style, but then when it, it came back in the 80s, uh, mostly um, um, with mostly Gray Morrow artwork, uh, some beautiful beautiful artwork and more traditional horror stories, and I love this book. Uh, I've got most of the original issues of of this, but not all of them. That's, and that is really cool. I love love that. Uh, I love that book, Chilling Adventures in Sorcery. And you know the uh, the ones that are stories that are drawn in the Archie style are just as spooky and creepy as the others. It's just that the style of the art is uh, is um, done in the in the more humorous Archie style. Hmm. And my wife turned up the music so I don't know if you can hear it I hope it's okay okay then after that we have we have showcase presents Adam Strange volume one this is with a is that a mic I think it's a Mike grill cover they're reprinting the classic uh, uh, classic Adam Strange stories from the uh, from the uh, 60s and I just love Adam these Adam Strange stuff there's is some uh, uh, Carmine Infantino art here from Mysteries in Space and from the late 50s and early 60s classic science fiction stuff and then, uh, then next to that another showcase this is showcase presents the haunted tank of volume one might only be the only volume of it that I I've got again these are all black and white because they're, they're good good reading books and I'm glad I'm able to get the ones that I, I could, could get uh, some great war stuff uh, some uh, Joe Kubert art there and then some Russ Heath uh, some some really cool cool stuff there and then that follow that up with another showcase presents this is the Warlord Volume One, and I, ha I had, or 
I don't think I still do, but I had most of these when uh, in color from when they were first first printed, the, the Mike Grell uh, written and drawn material. And when he Mike Grell wasn't doing doing as much on it, that's what I kind of fell away from it. This is this is volume one. I like that. The, uh, the Warlord, and then we finish it all up with The Essential, The Amazing Spider-Man, Volume 1, by Stan, this is, this is Amazing Spider-Man number 1 th through 20, plus annual number 1. This is all Stan Lee and Steve Ditko work in here. This is the classic early early days of Spider-Man, the amazing Spider-Man. You don't ever see him do, use that anymore, the uh, uh, the spider signal here. And that's when Ditko did some, some good stuff. Because I like his stuff on uh, the Spider-Man and um, Doctor Strange. And, but uh, probably my favorite period of, of Ditko's work was uh, in the 60s uh, at Charlton when he was doing the uh, um, Captain Adam and the Blue Beetle. I, I loved his version of the Blue Beetle the best. So that's what I've got to show you this time around. It was just a, a brief impromptu video because I thought hey this is a good opportunity to do it so I did so thank you for joining me please like share subscribe and do leave a comment what of these books do you like the best um because I like them all and I just I, I love love the reprint stuff because it, it gives you the opportunity to read the old stuff that is just too expensive or not available you know, and just to read. And that's why I really liked the Essentials and the Showcase volumes uh, so much. And I don't have as many of those as I would like. And some I would like to get. And now those are getting too expensive to buy. So, tell me what you think or any questions that you have about just about virtue, just about anything at all that I might be able to, to answer. So, thanks a lot. Remember to comment, and remember, comics are art.